Well, hello there, folks. Today we're going to use our calipers and this drawing to measure these delicious little lifesaver candies. Uh, we have our one of our favorite candy, one of my favorite candies, is the lifesaver, and it is a round candy, as you can see, as you probably well know. It's got a it's a cylinder uh, with a hole in the middle. Take a look at this, trying to understand what kind of shapes we're working with. So quite obviously, we've got a circle and a circle inside. And if we look at that from our front view, um, you can see that we have uh, the outer circle represents the outer edge. And there's our diameter symbol there. It's my, tell us where we're going to measure and draw that. And then we've got another one pointing to the inner circle for the inside measurement. But you notice on your candy that there is a, a tiny lip that works your way around try to figure out what this looks like. So first, let's go ahead and take uh, and start understanding what the heck kind of shapes we're working with. So again, we already have that circle. We know we have the inner circle and the outer circle, but man, it looks kind of weird when we look at it that way. It's, it's no longer just a circle and certainly not a cylinder. So what we have, what we appear to have, is we have, if I break this open, let me see, and as I've illustrated, as we have illustrated here, if we're to break this open, you can see there is what appears to be a circle and a rectangle section. So, and draw that here. We'll take a look at that in our detail view. Circle, rectangle, and they appear to share the same center. So, right about there is your center. Well, that's pretty cool because that's pretty easy to measure and draw. Okay, so let's go ahead and oh, what's that look like over here? What does that look like? Well, what that looks like over here is here's your circle. And there's your rectangle. And this object is round, so there's a center that goes there. So this view is what the object looks like from above. This view is what this object looks like, what our candy looks like when we crack it open and look on the inside. And this view is a zoomed in view of that. So there's section B, or detail B. There's what it looks like zoomed in. So the cutting plane AA. There's what we see when we look at that section. So let's take some measurements. Uh, set that aside. We'll measure a whole one. So first, the outer diameter. We can see that we are. There we go. Now we have gone, we are nine tenths of an inch, so zero whole inches, nine tenths, and so 10, 11, 12, 13, almost to 14. So we'll go to 14. So nine, 14. So zero, nine, 14. So that is zero inches, nine tenths, 14. On the dial, so we got we got from the blade, we got zero inches, nine tenths, and then fourteen on the dial. Nine hundred fourteen thousandths is how you read that. And that's the outside. Let's get the inside. Stick the little, little ears inside. Open it up, and you can read that. Zero inches, two tenths. And we'll call that 39. So 0, 2, 3, 9. So 0 inches, 2 tenths, and 39 thousandths. So 239 thousandths of an inch. All right. Now, what does that translate to when we look at it from the other point of view? So we come over here, and we're looking at we're taking our, uh, take, we're going to take our Lifesaver, and we'll rotate it to the right. 
and looking at it from this is this section cut that away from top to bottom well we already took that measurement that's the 914 thousandths so zero nine one four what about from here to here let's just show well we took that measurement as well that's this diameter that's 239 thousandths so decimal zero decimal point two three nine 239 thousandths of an inch. All right. What about looking over here? What do we have? So R, radius. Hmm. Point at the edge of the circle. Oh, did we already get that measure or not? Uh, we don't have that measure. We have not measured this. How do we get that? Um, well, we can't measure a radius. Of a solid object because we don't have anything to connect it. Radius is the distance from the center to the edge. And that's going to be really tricky to measure because I don't have anything to grab onto. So what I can do is grab onto this, the outside, and get a diameter measurement and then divide that by two. So I measure that. So 300, so 0 0.3. 11, 311 thousandths. 0 0.311 divided by 2. It's going to give us that radius, which is going to be, uh, I'm not, that's not going to fit in there, so we'll just look outside of it. So 0, wait, 1, 5, 5, 5. So that radius is 0 0.155 inches. That is 1,555 ten thousandths of an inch. We could round that off the four decimal places, four places, and get 0 0.156 inches. We'll put in our doodad, or we can leave it with the 155. Uh, triple five. So that's your radius here. What about the distance across here? Well, to measure that. We're going to take our caliper and take just the very tip. And there you have it. So we're going to measure whoop, that little dice. Zero inches, two tenths, fourteen thousandths. Zero point two one four. Two hundred fourteen thousandths. All right. What about these values over here? Over here, you can see that I'm going from the center line to the edge. Well, again, there is there's no physical center to grab onto to get this measurement. So in order to get the measurement, I need to do some math. We're going to measure the entire outer diameter and divide that by two. But wait a minute. We already did that. So 914 is the outside. So 914, quick mental math, uh, 450, 457. So we are at 400, so, uh, 0 0.457 inches, 457 thousandths of an inch. As far as the center to the inside edge, which is what we're trying to get here. We're trying to get the halfway measure there. That's the center to the inside edge. Oops. Hmm. Again, you measure all the way across the middle and then divide that by two, which we already measured all the way across the middle. We got 239 thousandths. So 239 divided by two. Uh, let's see, 239. There you go. There is that's the radius there. So uh, we could round that up to 120 thousandths if you want, or we could leave it at 
119, uh, 1,000, 195, 10,000. Pretty small digit. Uh, the difference isn't real significant. Okay, so there's all of those measurements. How do we get these? Well, it turns out we've already measured them. So by looking looking at this at this angle, measuring from this point to this point, we did that already over here. That's 214 thousandths, so 0 0.214. And the overall measurement across, we did that to get this radius, 311 thousandths. So 0 0.311. Go ahead and follow these steps to measure your delicious treat. And then, you know, when you're done, have a snack. It's good.